Hello, guys. My name. <laughs> Hello, guys. My name is Richard. Richard Warren Gibson. And today, I will be editing, which is also known as retouching. I will be retouching some pictures from a friend of mine's shoe. She's very, 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 very pretty, very beautiful. And I would like for you guys to watch me edit her picture. Now, I am going to try my best to do a killer job, but I would like for you guys to join me on this journey as I edit her picture. Thank you for joining me this evening or afternoon or whichever time it is in whichever part of the world you are currently living in. Here we go. So first, I'd like to start off with a few different things. First of all, I have an issue sometimes starting up Photoshop where it does this thing where a lot of the space in the region is way too far. But anyway, let's get to business. So the first thing that I notice when I look at Linda's face is the strand of hair. It's not on her face, but it's close to her face. Her mole, which is naturally beautiful, and the loose strands of hair. Those really catch my eyes and they cause me to want to edit immediately. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this damn tool. My percentage is just right, 96%, 93%. And we're going to hit Alt and the bracket key so that we can find a texture that's right next to it. That's close. It doesn't look fake or manipulated already. So, back, see, we got one straight down. We're going to go in again and get this next straight. I don't like how that went. So the key to doing this is to pull a texture that's very close, but it's not too different to the point where it doesn't look realistic at all. Now, there are a few different methods of doing this. Today, I don't want to take the route that's way too difficult for no reason. So what I like to do is I like to make certain edits on the skin texture only, only, only while I'm in the frequency separation layer, which is for the exact texture. So her hair right there, we're going to get this hair. She has really nice long hair and it's not thin, it's not spaced out. But for the image, 
it was. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a new layer because I don't wanna mess up the old layer. We're gonna hit current and below. We hit current and below. Now what we can do now is we can over copy and then erase what we don't need. See, perfect. And now we have what's strands of hair on the outside. We got to get those two. Okay. So, is there anywhere else where we can see hair that looks thin? It'll be right here. Let me draw this in. Perfect. We did it. Let's back up. Let's take a look. Are there any other strands of hair that we missed? Yes, right here. Let's get it. Okay. Looks like we're getting it in really good right here. And sometimes when you copy, texture or when you're using a clone stamp tool it can be tedious to get the right amount at the right angle so sometimes it's good to just take your time taking your time is always a good idea so what i did was i lowered the opacity because the opacity i was using was way too strong So now we're going to back out. Okay. We got the strands of hair. Yes. Everything else in this image looks pretty good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the next step. The next step would be frequency separation. Let's see how we do with that. I already have it. You know what? I forgot to change my mode to 16 bits so I can handle a greater capacity of editing. Now, 16 bit frequency separation. I'm going to need this. high frequency layer and we got our low frequency layer. So what we're gonna do is we don't wanna ruin this first frequency separation layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy it. And then we're gonna turn the eye off of the other one so that we don't touch that layer. And we're gonna go in. So this mold is very, very beautiful, very pretty. But for this image, we don't need it. So what we're going to do is change the opacity back to 93%. And we're going to go in. And now, oops, I forgot something. Why did it do that? Because we're on the wrong layer. We have the layers sample set to current and below. But we just want it on the current layer. And the current layer that we're working on is for high frequency separation. So we're going to continue to copy. We're going to remove those fine lines, which we all have. Unless you're a newborn baby, of course you're going to have these lines. So there's no point in trying to hide them to a certain degree. But if you remove the most major ones, you can still have the model looking natural and beautiful and not super edited, not a super edited look. So what we're doing right now is we're going into the texture of the skin 
namely, that what we're going to do here is remove the biggest, most obvious, and obnoxious blemishes. Yes. And yes, this can be very, very tedious, but once you get used to it, you'll find that it's very fun sometimes, unless you're in a rush for a client. So underneath our nose, we have some blemishes. We want to use our clone stamp tool to copy the nicer looking texture from around our nose to produce a better looking image. Okay, so here we go. go in. So the nose you have to be very, very careful with because if you remove too much, the nose can start to look plastic. For some images, a plastic looking nose works, but not here, not today. So as you can see, we are removing these blemishes, which aren't really blemishes. So pores. We're removing the pores and we get a new nice clean, nice clean skin. Nice, 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 nice. Always keep in mind for certain images, the quality of retouching that you want to do is high end retouching. You want to edit as if your images are going to be in a magazine or publish, or that they'll see a high volume of eyes. You want to be happy and proud of your work. You want your work to look commercial. Now, this is not every shoe. When you do your high end retouching, yes, that is exactly how you want it to go. Yes. So, the nose is starting to look very, very nice. So let's zoom out and see what we've done so far. So as you can see, the nose looks very realistic. It still has a texture attached to it. We didn't remove too much. So we don't have to worry about that. So let's get this nostril. Yes, the nostrils look good right there uh, in her area that's close to her nose. Let's get that. Let's get right here. Right here too. Right here. This black dot, which is a pimple. get it gone. Let's get it out of here. Okay, let, let's zoom out. What have we done so far? So another thing that catches my eye is a pimple or a blemish that was right close to the bridge of her nose. Another Here, that's close. Up here, that's close. Up here. 
over here and back to her nostril over here. So we've gotten the major blemishes so far. And if you want to be precise, there are a lot more that we could remove. But we don't want her face to look plastic. We want her skin texture to be realistic and clean looking as if as if she were a realistic doll, not a fake porcelain doll. We don't want that. We don't want the Chucky doll. Okay. I'm gonna use my pen for this part right here because I need to be precise. Got it. Okay. Right here to this texture of skin by her lip. We want to remove that too. But not remove, but we just want to give it a different texture. Okay. So here we go. Finishing up the lower cheek. Yes. We're getting it. Pick a low voice. Yes, you're doing it. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Okay. Now we're going to zoom out again and take a look at what we've done. Okay. We've done very good so far. So don't need to remove her tattoo, that can stay. But we need to finish removing this mold that we have right here. And so we're gonna copy our low frequency layer. And now we're gonna go in copy, copy. But that was too much, so what we're gonna do is Still using our closing tool, we're gonna lower, 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 lower the opacity on the closing tool. Now we're gonna copy the part of her skin and matches closely, but it's not overbearing. Same for underneath her nose. Same. So as long as the color's not overbearing, we're good. Same here. Coloring around the nose area, which we all have. Okay, we got that. There we go. We're going a little bit further. Now, looking back. As you can see, look how beautiful she is. Look at her skin, look at her, her eyes. So the next thing we want to do, well, actually I'm skipping ahead of skin, but it always helps me when I work on her eyes and then go back and then touch her skin up. So let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our adjustments layer. We're going to go to curves. The curves up so that everything in the image is brightened. But we're not doing it to brighten our skin. We're doing it to brighten the color of our pupils. So we're going to name this pupil. Iris. I'm going to copy that. So the pupil, 
we zoomed in way too close. But the pupil, what we're gonna do is hit our brush to bring our opacity down to maybe 18%. And we're gonna go in, I'm gonna move. Okay, so white is selected. We're gonna go in and bring the color of our pupils out. Well, not the color, but we're gonna brighten the pupils. Okay, we're gonna brighten our right eye, our left eye. Shout out to Lisa Left Eye Lopez, rest in peace. Okay, so now we're gonna check, we're gonna look at how we brighten it. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look at the eyes, look at the eyes, look. Now, I go to what I believe is called the iris, which I may be totally wrong. So what we're gonna do is brighten these as well. Same brush, same percentage. That was our left eye. Now we're doing the right eye. Okay. Now we're gonna check. You can see that it's bright. We're gonna zoom out. And what we're gonna do is hit our adjustment. And we're gonna go a little brighter. Now we have an even better looking eye. Yes. Yes. Now, for this part, one of my favorite parts to do, we're going to increase the opacity. And we're going to bracket the areas where our eye color shows the most. because what we wanna do is bring out our eye color. So let's go to swatches, swatches, swatches. And we're gonna choose this orange color. Okay, now what we're gonna do is increase, increase the opacity of the brush. We're gonna start a no layer for eye color. Now, we're gonna pick our color. Why orange, you ask? Because orange brings out a, a, a very warm, realistic color for our eyes. So, draw lines in because what I plan on doing is what's called a blur, a Gaussian blur. So we have it set to eight, but we can go further to 18. So we have 18. We're going to change our blend mode to color. But color doesn't really fit. Hue doesn't fit. We're going to go with soft light. We're going to back out soon. Look at her great skin. Look at her great eye color. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to save. Because what we want to do is save. You can't go wrong with save. Okay, so we're going to name this ASMR. Touch Linda. Linda, here we go. Okay. 
and we save. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to my low frequency. We're going to copy it in our mixer press tool. And now we're going to start to blend in the skin. But we're going to bring the smoothing down to maybe 16. Now, we want to be careful because we don't. What we don't want to do is we don't want to smear the skin and we don't want it to look unrealistic. Uh-oh, I made a boo-boo. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the mixer press tool. And we're going to, the direction you choose will make all the difference. So, right here where there's like a fine line, I want to, from that, and now we're going to pull from the rest of our face. We're going to pull from here and bring the color. Right on this edge of her chin. Now, we're going to take a second to zoom out and look for after, before, after, before, after. So we're going to go back in and do a little more. Yes, we're doing it. We're going to zoom out. We're going to zoom back out, guys. Look at how great our skin is looking. But also, Look at the uh, right side of the face. We're going to go back into the high frequency layer. And we're going to raise our opacity. Back to 93. And we're going to draw from a clearer part of the skin. We're gonna go back and hair chin area up as well. Now we have this texture. We have this texture here, this texture here, but this texture is standing out. So we don't want to remove it completely. So what we can do is we can draw from the smoother part of our skin and soften the texture. As you can see, there's some still there, but we don't want to remove it completely. 
So look how great she looks. So what I want to do is I want to do a overall brightening of the picture. So I'll hit our curves layer. And we're going to bring it up a tiny bit. Right there. Right there is good. So we're going to add a bit of contrast. In contrast, yes. Look how great, look how great her skin looks. So now we're not done. We're not done family. We're not done homies. We're not done guys. So what we want to do next is we want to find where we want to blend more of her skin. So we can blend more of our skin on our hands, our neck area, and our shoulder blades. So let's make another copy of our layer for skin and color. And we're gonna go right here. And we're gonna blend our hands in Blend the color in. I'm going to move myself out the way. And we want to be careful right here because we don't want to change her skin tone too much. But we want it to smooth it out. So we want it to remain this beautiful color that it is. Now, we're gonna to go to the other shoulder. Yes. I wanna smooth this skin out, yes. I wanna smooth this skin out on the collar bone. Yes. It's smooth. Okay. She's looking great. She's looking amazing. Look at this. Look at her. Wow. Wow. I am impressed. She looks wonderful here. So oopsie, oopsie daisy. This skin. Right in between here, we want to get that too. But we don't want to rush. We want to get her neck area. Yes. Now, I see a blemish that I didn't get. We want to increase our opacity. And we want to. We want to get that texture. While we're at it, I think I want to remove our tattoo. So let's give it a try. And there are there are other methods to doing it, but for the sake of time, we're going to do it this way. We're going to copy the texture smoother skin over here. I'm going to bring it over here. Yes. 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 Now, we're going to move it to a new layer because what we want to do is we want to sample the skin and then we want to brush the skin in. So what we're gonna do here is first, we're going to sample the skin.
this color here. We're going to take this color right here. Select our brush tool. And now we're going to slowly add some of the color back in. Yes. Yes. Yes, we're going to blend it in. We're going to blend it. We're gonna blend it right in. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're gonna save because saving is paramount. Now. our frequency layer and we're going to copy the skin color from here to remove that blemish. Now we're going to zoom back out. Okay, the image looks really great. So what we want to do next is we want to go to our lip. First, before we hit our lips up, See this nose hair is very and highly visible. We don't want to see nose hairs. So we're going to remove the texture of inside of the nostril. We're going to decrease the brush size. going to lower the opacity. First, we always need to make sure we're on our current layer for the skin texture. I don't want it to affect any color. And I don't want it to look like there are two nostrils. So now that we've done that, we can zoom back out. And we can save again. Looking at her face, we have some texture that seems to be misplaced. Let's remove it. Let's remove the texture. Okay, we're gonna copy from here. Place here. Copy from here. Place here. And place here. And place here. Now, we're gonna lower our opacity again. We're gonna take from here and bring it here. We're going to take from here and bring it here. Yes, 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 bring it in, bring it in. From here and bring the texture in here. Yes, now let's zoom out and look at our beautiful work so far. What do we have? I spy with my four eyes. <laughs> a mole on Linda's hand. Let's remove it. Okay. So now we just need to alter the color on our hand. Bam. Look at that. It's gone now. It's looking good. It's looking really, really good. Mm, let's see. What more can we add? We can remove this 
strand of hair up top. Let's do it. Let's start on a new layer and lower our opacity to maybe 24. And now we're going to copy. But we got to make sure we're on the right layer. So we want to be current and below. Yes. Now zoom out. We've removed the strand of hair. Now let's go into lips like we promised. I don't want to remove a lot of texture from her lips, but we can remove a little bit, okay? Let's bring our tech, our opacity back up to 93. Select current layer. And now we're gonna get that good, good, Yes. As you can see, we're going into the lip area and we're removing significant looking blemishes or bumps or pimples, which we all have. No human does not have them. And if they do, they are not human. And note, we never want the skin texture to look as if we made it ourselves. If there's a pattern that you can see in the texture, you'll want to break that pattern and remove it. Now we're gonna zoom back out. Look how great this looks. Look how wonderful she looks. So a problem that I see is underneath her chin. Like any normal human being, there's gonna be a shadow. So what we wanna do is we want to lighten that shadow with the same skin color. Now we're gonna sample right next to it, bam. And our brush tool, bam, Cre increase our opacity. And now we're gonna color this area in. Yes, 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 yes. Now take a peek. Yes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the opacity of what we've just done because we don't want it to look unrealistic. Bada bing, bada boom, hey, hey. Now we're gonna go back up to the texture of the brim of her nose and her eye area. 
So we're gonna go back in and we're gonna copy a lot of this texture from beneath. It's coming along very beautiful, very beautifully. Okay, looking good, looking good. Nice, oh my gosh, she's looking like a supermodel. Wow, she looks amazing here. Okay, so what we'll do now is we're gonna zoom back out. What can we do? Dodge and burn. <laughs> we'll bring this up. Dodge. We're going to hit Control I on Windows. Something else on Mac. I don't know. I'm not a Mac user. I'm gonna copy this. Now, first, I want to go into our makeup. So, the first layer, let's rename it makeup. Select our brush tool. Bring our opacity down to maybe 13. Make sure white is highlighted. It's not. Now it is. Make sure black is selected as your other color. Here we go. Check and see what we've done. Great. Let's go to the other eye now. Whoopsie. Let's bring the curves up a little bit, which will in turn bring up the dodging that we just did on our eyes. Now, we didn't forget about our lips, did we? Lip dodge. Now we wanna go in to the brightest, the brightest, the brightest part of our lip, okay? And we're going to add some extra highlight or shine, which is also known as dodge. I'm gonna zoom out, 
Look how amazing her lips look. Look how amazing she looks. Um, so what I want to do really quick is the texture of her lips is fine, but the color of her lip is fine as well. But what I want to do is blend the colors on her lip in just a little bit more. So we're going to blend it in using the mixer brush. Yes. We want nice, soft, succulent looking lips. Bam, there we go. And let's save because saving ain't never hurt nobody. Wow, she's looking amazing here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go back up to our dodges. And we're going to copy these. Let's do forehead dodge. Now we're going to focus specifically on Linda's forehead. Here we go. We didn't change the opacity. This opacity works great. Okay. Go back to makeup. This part of the eye. Yes. Looking wonderful. Looking absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. Now, what are we going to? We're going to rename this layer. I mean, this, uh, whatever it's called. This curve uh, cheek layer. I mean, cheek dies. Yes, 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 yes. Now, for this, we want to be very careful. So we're going to lower the opacity to about 10. Now we're going to hit everywhere where the light shines most. So it looks great. Some people might settle for this look, but I want to bring the opacity down a little more. Maybe about 83% or 80%. It doesn't really matter. Now we're going to go to no dodge. So the layer, change this layer to nose dodge. And again, we're going to hit the highlights of our nose. So we're going to bring this up to 15%. And we're going to hit the red bridge of the nose. And then we're going to hit this right here. Now, what I want to do is I want to blur. Fifteen. Fifteen was a good number to, to blur the dodge. Now, we're going to bring this opacity down to about maybe 50%. Now we're going to hit Gaussian Blur one more time. Look how wonderful she looks. But again, we are not done. We're close to being done, but we ain't done. So 
We want to copy this layer again. Now we want to hit shoulder dodge. We want to dodge our shoulders. Shoulder dodge. Now hit B for brush. We're going to hit the highlights, the highs, the brightest parts of our skin. What we want to do is we want to hit filter, caution blur, caution blur, caution blur. So now what we have Oh wow, this looks amazing. This looks amazing, guys. Thanks for joining me on this journey. We're almost done. So Want to increase the the vibrance of the image, but also in certain parts. So we want to we want to enhance our lip color. So lip vibrance, yes. We're going to invert that. Now we're going to hit our brush tool, and we're going to bring it up way to 100% and we're going to color in I kind of did that backwards, but it's okay. But now we want to color our lips in. Okay. Now, as you can see, we went outside the lines of our lips. But that's easy because since we're on a mask layer, we can just go in and precisely clean up. We're going to clean up around the rest of our lips. Yes, 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 yes. We're going in. As little Wayne said, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in, I'm going in, and I'm a go on, and I'm a go on, and I'm a go on, I'm a go on. Okay, so we have cleaned up our lip. So what we're gonna do now is, as well as we can see, this color is too much. So we're going to bring the opacity down. Somewhere around 30% or 40% looks great. But let's think around the 30 area. 30 looks great. And it's a little too warm for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up color balance and I'm going to create a clipping mask so that it only affects that layer. Say it with me, layer. Now, we want it to be a lot cooler. So we're going to bring this over. No, let's try another way. Let's bring cyan over. Let's bring cyan over and let's bring blue over. Oh, 
Okay, I kind of like it. Just like it is. I like it that way. Now, let's go in and increase the color of the makeup around her eyes or eye thing. So let's change the vibrance. Yes. Yes. We're going to make sure we're on the right layer. Get our brush to bring our opacity down to maybe 37 or so. And we're going to color over. First, we need to make sure that white is our color. Now we're going to Yes, 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 we're going in, guys. We're going in, okay. Now, look at how great that looks. But we're going to do one more thing. We're going to bring this uh, opacity of the layer down. And we're going to save, because remember, saving is our friend. Now, this looks great to me. But again. Done. We're going to do a bit of burning, just a tiny bit. So we're going to start off with her face, but we're going to do it very lightly, very, very lightly. Because with dodging and burning, you have to be very, you have to be, you must be very careful with how much you dodge, and how much you burn, and also in the location at which you do so. So let's start here on the cheekbone. Bam. Get underneath the eye area, right to the nose. Look how well we did that. We want it to be simple, we don't want to go overboard. This is with the dodge. I'm sorry, this is with the burn. Without burn, with burn, without burn, with burn. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lower the opacity to maybe 75 so that we still have a realistic looking image. We don't, we don't want to overdo this. Okay, let's bring it up a tiny bit more. Okay. Last but not least, shoulder burn. I spoke it wrong. I spoke it way wrong. But let's get right back to it, guys. So make sure we're on the right layer. And we're going to hit the shoulder. We got to make sure that white is selected. Hit the shoulder. Yes, shoulders. Looks like we're done, guys. Now, what we can do to sharpen this image a little bit is, excuse me. Now, what we're gonna do now is, 
we're going to add. We're going to add. Where's some? Rainbow bouquet. Okay, I like this a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to rasterize the layer. We're going to copy it. Make sure that one is invisible. We're going to change the blend mode to lighten. Screen might be the best. Screen looks to be the best option for this image. So we're going to make it large. Let's do a bit of cropping. Okay. We want to bring this rainbow over just a tiny bit. There we have it. We are, we are done. This has been my first ASMR video. Thank you guys for joining me for my first video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the video. Whoever you are, whether you're a retoucher, a photographer, or any kind of content creator, thank you for joining me. And I would like for you to have a nice day. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's do this the right way. Let's zoom in. Why are you telling me I can't zoom? Look at look at the image. Look at the image. Look at what we did, guys. We did a really great job. We killed it. We killed this. Yes, look at this. Look at this. Yes, we did good. So again, I want to thank you for joining me for this retouching video. And I am Richard or Ricardo or Ricky Ricardo or Ricky Rick or Ricky Rich or Richie Rich or rich dollars so thank you for joining me guys and again have a great day